Hi, welcome back. Differentiation. Basics of differentiation. Part 1. Basics of differentiation. If you have a function x in, if you differentiate it with respect to x, d over dx, x to the power n, it will become n times x n minus 1. This n will come here as a coefficient and the power of n x n become x n minus 1. Also, instead of x, if we substitute it with a function of x, like d over dx fx, function of x, to the power n, then we can write n will come here n times fx to the power n minus 1 times f dash x f dash x is the differential of the function here. So in this case, f dash x is equal to 1 because differential of x is equal to 1. So therefore, it is n x n minus 1. In this case, n f x n minus 1 times f dash x. Here you need to note that f x is a differentiable function. Okay, let's see some trigonometric functions. In here, we can see the differentiation of sin x. If you differentiate sin x with respect to x, it will become cos x. Similarly, if you differentiate cos x with respect to x, it will become negative sin x. It's not the negative sign, it's a negative sin x. Similarly, you can differentiate tan x with respect to x, it will become sec squared x. Also, if you differentiate cot x, it will become negative of cos x squared x. Sometimes this is called secant squared x, cosecant squared x. But there's a negative sign for cot x. And then secant x, differential of secant x equal to secant x times tan x. And lastly, we can see the cosecant. If you differentiate the cosecant x or cos x x, you get negative cos x x times cot x. Negative cosecant x times cot x. There are some basics of differentiation. End of part one.